program testing uh, it is about ways of uh, avoiding and exposing faults in the written programs most programs written to perform a real task will contain errors as programmers are humans and do make mistakes the aim is to avoid making as many mistakes as possible and then find as many mistakes as possible before the program goes live unfortunately this does not always happen and many spectacular failures have occurred uh, more than one large uh, bank has found that its customers were locked out of their accounts for some time when new software was installed major airlines have had to cancel flights because of the programming errors one prison service released prisoners many days earlier than required for about 15 years because of the faulty programs that happens all the times faults in an executable program are frequently faults in the design of the program fault avoidance starts with the provision of comprehensive and rigorous program specifications at the end of the analysis phase of the program development life cycle followed by the use of formal methods such as structure charts state transition diagrams and pseudo codes at the design stage at the coding stage the use of programming disciplines such as uh, information hiding encapsulation and exception handling all uh, help to prevent faults faults or bugs in programs are then exposed uh, at the testing stage testing will show the presence of faults to be cons uh, to be corrected but cannot guarantee that large complex programs are fault free under all circumstances faults can appear during the lifetime of the program and may be exposed during life running the faults are then corrected as part of the maintenance stage of the program uh, life cycle so faults are all real and they happen all the times so uh, types of errors a software may not perform as expected for a number of reasons such as the programmer has made a coding uh, mistake the requirements specification was not drawn up correctly uh, the software designer has made a design error. The user interface is uh, poorly designed and the user makes mistakes. Computer hardware uh, experiences uh, a failure. How are the errors found? The end user might report an error. This is not good for the reputation of the software developer or the software house. Testing software before it is released for general use is essential research has shown that uh, the earlier an error uh, can be found the chapter uh, the cheaper it is to fix it it is very important that software is testing uh, tested throughout the development the purpose of testing is to discover errors uh, a famous uh, desk scientist said program testing can be used to show the presence of bugs, but never to show their absence. So it is necessary, but programs are, program errors are but natural. Finding syntax error is easy. The compiler or interpreter will find them for you and uh, usually gives you a hint as to what is wrong. Depending uh, on your development editor, some syntax error may be flagged up by your editor. As uh, you can see over here, that this line shows an error. The error is that we haven't put double quotation over here. Similarly, over here, I have made a mistake by putting two E's. So this line, this blue line is telling about the syntax error. Now, uh, depending on the uh, uh, on your development environment editor some syntax error may be flagged up by your editor as, as i have just shown so you cannot uh, you, you uh, miss those 
and correct these as you go along. A syntax error, on the other hand, is a grammatical error in which program statements uh, uh, does not, uh, as a statement does not follow the rules of the high-level language construct. Uh, some syntax errors might not uh, uh, only become apparent when you are using an interpreter or compiler to translate the program and sometimes they become apparent. Interpreters and compilers work uh, differently. So when a program compiles successfully, you know there will be no syntax errors because a program cannot be compiled until or unless there is a syntax error in it. So this is not the case with interpreted programs. Only statements that, uh, that are about to be executed will be uh, syntax check. So if your program has not been thoroughly tested, it might even have syntax uh, errors remaining in it. So mostly nowadays, like in Visual Basic, the compiler stops uh, when it first notices a syntax error. The error is often on the lines uh, shown. As I just showed you that the syntax error was apparent with blue printed line. The compiler cannot tell until it gets to the next line of the code. So when you enter uh, and go to the next line, then it appears. Much more uh, difficult is to find um, logic errors and runtime errors. A runtime error occurs when the program executes, uh, a program execution comes to an unexpected halt or crash or it goes uh, into an infinite loop and the program freezes. So basically, uh, logic errors are errors in the logic of the program, meaning the program does not do what it is supposed to do. For example, in this program, uh, if I execute it uh, and I choose uh, number two, Number two says that uh, show after picking up middle word of a string. So I put my name Zafar Ali Khan and I expect that it will show me Ali, but rather it is showing me all three words in different lines. And it, it is a logic error. And if I go with three and it says that to show isolated words of a string and I put Zafar Ali Khan Rather than showing me um, different uh, words of the string, it is showing me the middle word. So it means that it is a logic error. So let's see what is the error. So for number two, I have picked isolated words. And for number three, I have picked a uh, big middle word. This is the um, uh, error in the logic that for case two, I have chosen case three and for case three, I have chosen case four to be picked up. So if I put this uh, uh, pick middle here and uh, I pick this isolated word and put it here, so this logic error is now removed. So if I go by two, which says that uh, find the middle word and I put my name Zafar Ali Khan, it will show me the middle word. So the syntax uh, sorry, the logic was corrected. Now, uh, logic errors are errors in the logic of the program, meaning the program does not do what it is supposed to do. These errors are usually found when the program is being tested. Many IDEs will allow you to single step through a program to find these errors. This is called stepping. I'll show it in, the, um, in another lecture. You can also manually work through a program to check that it works as it should using tools such as trace tables. Trace tables uh, show the process of dry running a program with columns showing the values of each variable as it changes. And you would have uh, this experience from your O level. Now, runtime errors. Runtime errors happen when the program is executed. The program may halt unexpectedly or go into an infinite loop and uh, need to be uh, stopped by a brute force. If a program is being tested in 
an IDE, integrated development environment, then this type of error may be managed and a suitable error message can be uh, chosen to be shown. Uh, if the program has already been released uh, for use and runtime error occurs, the developer should be informed so that the program can be updated and re-released and a patch can be sent out to all customers to solve the problem. A patch is a small program released by the developers to run uh, with an existing programs to correct an error or provide extra functionality. The Windows operating system is frequently patched and the process of downloading patches and uh, updating the program has been automated. So now wait for the next lecture, which is about uh, uh, testing strategies where we will discuss about black box and white box and step testing. Until then, thank you.